So what is going on? Tell me what's happening with uh, with this your husband. Well, you know, my husband pled guilty mm -hmm. to fraud in federal court, and he was sentenced to eight years in prison. And so he reported to prison a few months ago. Okay, so at what point did you realize? Did you have anything in the back of your mind? that he was doing anything. It's for fraud, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So did you have any idea? I really didn't. I mean, I work, I just got my fifth college degree, and so I am pretty much an overachiever. Mm -hmm. um, I have two very small children. I just stopped breastfeeding three months ago, and so I didn't have any idea that any of this was going on until he called me and said, hey, um, you know, I've, I've been arrested, and you know I'm having this problem, but it's not true. And so I went out of my way to get him the best attorneys, the best investigators, and to do everything I could because I'm an attorney myself. And mm -hmm. so I wanted him to have the best so that we could fight this together, but obviously it did not turn out like that. Right, okay, so but when you first met him, uh, he was on parole, right? Yeah. So, so there was a flag there, right? Well, or no? Um, <laughs> Well, to be honest, he, you know, he had been to prison, but he was a changed person. Mm -hmm. So the person I married, I thought he was changed. And, and like you said, you have two small children. That's got to break your heart. To, I mean, you, you make a, a decision to support this man and, and believe him, and, then, uh, and now you find out that he's going to be in prison for eight years, and you're going to have to raise these babies by yourself, which has got to be really hard. It is extremely hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, my heart aches for my two sons because, you know, they are the heart and soul of who I am, you right. know, and that's the best thing that we ever did together. We have great kids, and, you know, I never wanted to do anything to di diminish his character in public, um, you know, but we've had some times where he's done things that, you know, weren't so cool, weren't so nice. Right, and uh, so you've now, you've decided to divorce him. Did someone clap? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have made that decision. To divorce him. I guess there's now the rumors or, or accusations that you cheated on him, and I guess that's to try to tit for tat thing? Well, I mean, I think it's totally absurd to think that I cheated. They're saying I had an affair with a, a man from Africa named Chocolate. Now, everybody knows that um, I do love a Snicker bar every once in a while. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but um, it's definitely not a man from Africa that I've ever had an affair with. I mean, it's just absurd. And I think sometimes when people are hurting, they do things to hurt other people. And, you know, there's been a lot of lashing out from Apollo because I think he's in a place, a very, you know, angry place. And I think you hurt the people who are closest mm -hmm. to you sometimes. And it's unfortunate. But, um, you know. Do you it's know ridiculous. a man named Chocolate? I don't. You know, I do know Mr. Goodbar, though. Uh, do you? <laughs> but I mean, that's crazy that someone makes up a man named Chocolate. That's, that's <laughs> hilarious.